Dean Yendel and Christine Pools are an unusual combination. They're not just competitive jockeys, they're also husband and wife. So when we caught up to them, we asked the important question first. Most office romances start with a look across the room. It wouldn't have happened in the jockey's room in this instance. Actually happened in a bus. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> yeah, a bus, a car, yeah. On the way, on the way to a race meetings. Managing weight and mood swings are a part of a jockey's life. Luckily for these two, they don't have those issues so much, but they can share it all together. We're quite lucky. We both don't have to waste and watch our weight, so we, we basically eat like anyone else does. Uh, healthy uh, as much as you can and happy days. So the, that sort of thing about wasting and sweating and stuff like that um, doesn't really relate to us, so we're pretty lucky. So that's a plus for you guys. You can live somewhat of a normal life. Yeah, probably the only mood swings we get is when the lolly jar's empty and then somebody's in trouble if they ate the last one. That's about the only mood swings, really. Falls and injuries are an unfortunate part of a jockey's profession, but there's that extra bit of concern when it's family involved. Obviously, um, it's the last thing you want to see is your, the other half having a fall or an incident, accident, um, let alone anybody else doing it. Um, it is a hard job, and when those things happen, it's, um, it's all the worst things to try and think of positives, but um, it's just uh, get up, get back on if you can. It's horrible. I've watched Dean have falls and I ran over him one day after he fell off, but it's horrible. It doesn't matter who it is, though, even if it is your partner. In this, this game, the simple falls can be the worst falls, and yet the worst falls can walk away with the simplest of injuries. So we've been pretty lucky, I suppose. There are many ups and downs in the life of a jockey, but there is one particular thing for this pair that stands out. The money. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. You pay a lot of money to go to the gym in the morning and I can go ride work and somebody pay me to do it. And, you know, in a day we can, we can earn as much as my sister earns in a week. And that's one day, whether it's raining or sunny or not. And um, winner or no winner. So I think we've got a pretty good job, a really good job. And not many people can say they do what they love and get paid for it. That's what I'd say anyway. Yeah, just get rid of that tax man and everything will be real good. Exceptionally good. <laughs>